Hey guys, uh, I know it's been a minute since I was here, but um, it's not that we've slowed down, it's more like we've had a, a lot of things to do. Uh, one of those things uh, is something I want to show you today. It's called uh, Circle Cut. It's, uh, it's a tool pathing command. It's uh, really cool. Um, it's, I mean, I would say it's mostly for foam. It is definitely for foam, the foam industry, but if you have any more thoughts of, uh, or applications where this is usable, please write that down in the comments. Uh, I would love to know. Um, but essentially you draw a bunch of uh, circles. I prefer to nest them, of course. Uh, and then this command connects all of those circles with one toolpath. So one continuous toolpath for all of the circles. And this is... It's... Uh, it's mesmerizing. Uh, I'm gonna show you here. So. I will head over to CAD and circle. I'm just gonna draw a couple of circles. I hit space to repeat the command. Okay, so something like that perhaps. Then I go to CAM. I want to create a sheet which I can nest in. That's on. And I want to create parts from these circles. I create 20 of each. So then I know that I have uh, a decent amount to fill this sheet. Head over to Nest, Auto, and I select these, and select the sheet. Then I want to use Common Cut Line to, uh, I mean, this, uh, this uh, Common Cut Line places uh, the parts within this range, so 0 0.8. Uh, 76 millimeters in our case which is the width of our tool diameter so nest that looks good okay close so now we have a, a sheet with with circles on it and what I want to do now is head over to cam and this is our new uh, command then so it's a circle cut I click here I have some uh, leading settings, so I want to use a circular piercing. I could use a, a negative or a positive overcut, and the length in and length out in millimeters, and then also the quality. Click OK, select all of them, enter, and we have this red line here, which indicates our starting position or, or yeah, our starting and end position of uh, the the leads. So I'm just going to pick a point here. Then I have the indication of uh, the lead in first. If I click here, it's gonna end up where my cursor is. If I hit enter, it's gonna end up where the, the solid line ends, so the thicker line. So if I hit enter here, it's gonna have, uh, it's gonna stop right there. So then I do that again for the lead out. So here we have you see there are there are red lines on the outside of all of these so what happens now we ha we have to we have to look at this right we have to see i promise uh, it was mesmerizing so hit enter for starting our 2d uh, simulation that's almost too fast it's like remember if you have uh, seen a 3D printer for the first time, you you kind of like you kind of sucked in, and, and you just you just sitting like this. Uh, what's happening? But you can't stop looking. It's kind of the same thing with this. It's uh, it's really nice. I haven't seen it live on the machine yet, but um, I would love to see that. Yeah. So. Uh, brings brings uh, the jet right back to our starting position so that's uh, that's the circle cut it's not it's not much more than that um, but it's I think it's great if you are cutting uh, especially fast fast uh, stuff uh, and you don't need any tabs so perhaps a thicker material which I was thinking about foam so you can just 
go as fast as you can and uh, the, the, the parts are going to stay in place either way. Um, but yeah, that, that's it. Uh, and um, anyone on the subscription license can just download. So you just hit on hit um, items, check for updates. And uh, yeah, now I've already updated this, but you can click update here if you uh, uh, if you haven't already. And uh, for you guys with the USB uh, license, if you don't have a current license, you can always update it um, uh, at our uh, partners. So contact them for for an upgrade. Um, that's it. Catch you in the next one.